Hello again. Welcome to the third short video on editing audio tracks in Crystal Audio Engine. In this video, we're going to look at copying and pasting a section of a track from one point place to another and having it join seamlessly. In this example, I'm going to use this guitar intro. There's about four bars and then it repeats itself. Say the first four bars weren't very good and you wanted to replace them with the second lot of four bars. Just there. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get rid of them. I like the second four bars better. So I'm going to go snap to grid. Just to give me a nice clean cut. I might choose seconds. Or bars and beats. Whatever works better. Get right in there. Nah, we'll go seconds, I think. It's right there. So right click the timeline, click on seconds, and there's a real nice spot there. Snip. That's at the end of the first four bars. So I'm going to delete that, but I need to replace it with the next four bars. So I'm going to find the spot where that pattern turns around. It's right there. Just put the timeline. The timeline is so handy to mark things. Just put the timeline where it is I want to snip. Get it nice and close. Now it's just a matter of how's that look? That looks good. Now it's just a matter of copying the second section. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to go Control C for copy or right click it and select copy. Then I'm just going to delete that. Put the timeline where I want it to start. And paste. Now there it is. That's the second lot of four bars. You can see there. Seems to start okay. But what happens when it reaches the join? Whoops, bit of a hiccup. So, use my timeline to mark where I want to go again. Zoom in, and yep, that's the problem. Now this is a really nice, also another nice feature. Turn the snap off. Now I could just drag it and hope for the best. What I'm going to do is make it transparent. Make the other track transparent. I can see through it. Line them up. Just right. Yep, looks good. Nice. All right, let's have a listen to that. Start. Starts nice. Couldn't even tell. So if the guitarist had made a mistake, I could easily just copy and paste the section back. So in this video we've looked at the editing features in Crystal Audio Engine and I've shown how to cut and paste a section that I wanted to replace. These are all non-destructive, they won't affect the original track. Anyway, I hope they're a help. Good luck. <laughs>